I'm Pastor George Borkard, and this is another Higher Things Video Short. Changing the way you think about Lent. That's the subject of today's Higher Things Video Short. Like, subscribe, ring that bell, donate. If you love what we're doing in Higher Things five days a week, isn't that a Beatles song? If you love what we're doing, it's not easy to put out videos as much as we put out videos. And so like, subscribe, ring that bell. Kobe, donate. Your tax-deductible gift to, at support.higherthings.org helps us to pass on the faith to the next generation. That is what Higher Things is all about. We are one week, one week from Lent. Thor and I have to get together again. We did this video and then lost it, which is just as well because we got a new microphone. Isn't it beautiful? Well, the old one was kind of crackly. Ten years of podcasting and videos will do that. How's it going there, buddy? Like this. Drop the treat in, man. He double caught that. So the last video was lost. I'm sure she'll put a bore cart fail up there. Who cares? She does what she does. Great job, Sandra, on the videos, by the way. So we got to rethink how we think about Lent. What I mean by that is, he caught that. What I mean by that is that so many of us, and I was guilty of this too for a long time, so many of us come out of works righteousness religions or we come out of Rome and, we, and, and Lent for us is this season which is all about, which is literally all about us. It's about our, it's about our change. It's about our repentance. It's about being a different person. It's about changing what we think. It's about being a different person or sacrificing for God. All of the things, all the stereotypical things of what people think concerning the Lenten season. And I'm going to invite you this year to lose all of that. I say it every year, and I mean it. Um, Lent isn't about you, it's about Jesus. I say it, and I mean it. And I, people get mad at me, because they're like, well, isn't it our fast? Isn't it our thing? Is there anything wrong with us being? Why, are, why, why is this a bad thing if it's about me? Well, what I want you to do this Lenten season is I want you to move and shift the focus off of what you're doing, the laws that you put on yourself, and the things that you do in the Lenten season. And fix your eyes on Jesus. Let your Lent be about Jesus for you. Let your Lent be Christ and Him crucified for you. Let it be all about what God has done for you in Christ and not about what you've done for you or you've done for Him or the things that you want Lent to be about. Let it be about Jesus for you. Because that's what the Lenten season is really all about. And for those of you who, who get mad at me, and I understand, and you're like, well, Lent's a fast. Lent's something that, you know, you sacrifice. You got to sort of work in Lent and kill that old Adam of yours. Yeah, do that. But don't do it for yourself. And don't do it to law yourself. And don't do it for God. Do it so that, come over here, boy. Here, boy. Do it so that, in your bed, in your bed, oh man, do it so that you get out of the way, because that's what Lent is all about. You getting out of the way so that Lent can be all about watching Jesus go to the cross. Lent, the, sac the, 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 the giving up things, the, the fasting, all of that gets you out of the way. So that Jesus can be more for you this Lent than he was ever before. So that your eyes could be fixed on him. Well, shouldn't every season be about that? Yes. You should do that 365 year, days a year. You should get yourself out of the way and let it all be about Jesus. Well, and the reason... For Lent is because you don't do that. 
and you need that yearly call to repentance, that nearly, Lent means spring, you need that spring to bring you out of all of your ickiness, to jar you and empty your hands of, of all that's you so that God can be such a God for you as to give up his life for you. And so fast, beat your body into submission, all those law things to kill yourself, not literally, but spiritually, so that all this you getting in the way, you thinking that you make a difference, you thinking your change, you thinking that you can make yourself worthy, all of that dies. So that the real Lent, the suffering and death of Jesus, can be the central focus of your Lent. And if you think that Lent is all, all law, you're wrong. It's law in order that it might be gospel for you. It's law to, so that you would die, so that it would be gospel for you. And we're going to talk about that in the Lenten season because, because the cross and Good Friday, he ended up catching that. It was not a clean reception. But so that it can be gift. That's what Lent is all about. More Jesus, less you. More Christ and him crucified, less you. So fast change, give up your sins and don't pick them up again next Wednesday so that Jesus could be the center of your Lent. Because just like Jesus is the reason for the season of Christmas, he's the reason for Lent. Not your sacrifice, but his sacrifice. Not your change, but his taken on your flesh. Not your death, his death for you. And die to yourself so that there can be more of him in your life and in your world. I'm kind of glad we got to redo this video. I'm kind of glad. New mic, new season coming up. Pastor George Porkart, and this has been a Higher Things video short.